Hey y'all, I'm back. I uh, wanted to talk real quick about something that I had written down. I was just kind of reading and you know, it's snowing outside, man. I'm talking about I ain't going nowhere. Okay, so y'all probably going to see a whole lot of me today. But uh, anyhow, I had written something down and, and I just kind of wanted to share it with you guys. Um, I wrote down, thank God Almighty that the people I loved did not love me back. I would have never escaped. Um, that's pretty deep. You know what I'm saying? That that that's pretty deep right there when you think about it. Because, um, I, I you know I I've talked about narcissistic abuse and uh, people that have been in my life previously. You know, um, major narcissistic. You know. Uh, influences all over the place when it came to lovers, um, people at work, family members, friends. I mean, I was just surrounded by these demons. And um, when I thought about that, you know, thank God, thank God, praise God, they didn't love me back because I would have never escaped it. You know, um, I thought at one time that I could love somebody past their pain because I heard that crap in a movie and um, you can support a person past their pain you can comfort a person past their pain you can counsel a person past their pain but you are not capable of loving a person past their pain. You can see past their pain and still love them anyway. But you're not God. You know, so we can't ever put ourselves in that position where we think we can fix people. And that's one of my big, that was, knock on wood, thank God. That was one of my biggest issues was I always thought I could fix people. And who am I to think that they even needed fixing? They, they may not have even wanted to be fixed. Most of these people were cool getting down the way they were getting down. If I was the one who was the problem. You know, I had to learn that uh, everybody doesn't want to be loved the same. Everybody doesn't want to be loved righteously. You know, everybody claims that. You know, you'd be surprised at how many men... Males, I'm not going to call them men because I don't think I've come across a whole lot of men. Maybe one or two in the last seven years. But uh, dudes, that's all they talk about. Good women, I need a good woman. I need one that can hold me down. I need a ride or die, blah, 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 whoop dee woo 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 First of all, ladies, when these brothers come at you with that mess right there, ask them, what is your definition of a good woman? Don't tell him who you are or what you do. Let him explain to you what his definition of a good woman is. And if that's you, then go for it. If not, keep it pushing. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your time. I'm telling you now. Because once a man has made up in his mind that a good woman is this, if he don't have just that, exactly that, you're going to be that trick. Tramp. Skank, scallywag, whatever they call them women nowadays when they don't do what the guy asked them to do. Okay? Don't trap yourself up in that mess. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just not worth it. It's not worth it at all. I tried to love somebody so much that I thought, I thought I had enough love for the two of us. How does that work? If I have enough love for the two of us, I need to be by myself. See, because love requires reciprocation when you're in a relationship. And if you don't give me something to reciprocate, then guess what? I'm just giving my shit away for free. That's charity. Hello? If I give you my love and there's no reciprocation, that's charity. What, now I'm the Salvation Army of the Love Department? I don't think so. I don't think so. If you don't give me something to reciprocate, I'm out. Time is money, player. 
And when I talk about money, it's not always finance. Your time cost. You know, I used to tell people all the time, if I, if I take the time to sit down and share my wisdom with you, that's currency. And you know why it's currency? Because it costs me. Just because it didn't cost you anything and the advice you think is free, is free to you, darling. It wasn't free to gain, no. I had to pay something to get that wisdom, to give you that advice. If somebody's giving you advice, whether it be good or bad or whether you agree with it or not, just take the advice because whoever that is that's giving it to you, it costs that person something. And they're willing to share for free what they paid for. They're willing to share that with you for free. So reciprocate. You don't have to agree. You don't even have to take the advice. But just listen. Sometimes people just need you to listen to them. And if you listen, you might bump your head and learn something. Like I said, you know, I'm glad that the people um, in my life didn't love me back. I'm glad they didn't listen. I'm glad they didn't hear me. Because had they to really heard me, let me tell you what would have happened. I'd have been stuck with some dude right now that don't give two dimes about me. And I'd have been loving his dusty draws. Trying to compensate. Trying to have enough love in the relationship for both of us. Man. I fixed dinner for two. And you know what? I have my dinner and the next, the second one is my lunch for tomorrow. Hello? I take myself to romantic dinners. I took myself to a really nice hotel not too long ago. A spa. On the water, beautiful beach setting, all by myself, just me and the Lord. Had a great time. What I can tell you is I can't go to some man and say, why don't you ever take me anywhere? When I ain't got no pictures and videos of places I've been by myself. See, when I break that video out, I'm tell that brother, either you take me because you know I'll go by myself. I ain't scared to go by myself. See, when you have a woman like that, brothers jump to try to take you somewhere. Problem with me is it's hard to impress me. I'm not impressed. I'm not easily impressed at all. I don't care what car, what kind of car you drive, how much money you make, what type of home you live in. None of that has anything to do with me. Cause like I said, I'm 50. I gotta stop. You know, tell y'all know how old I am. At my age, I don't care what kind of house you have. I don't care how much money you. How much do you think you gonna really give me? Before I drop dead. How much do you think you're required to actually invest in me? Ain't too much investing that you're going to have to do with me. First of all, I don't want your money. What I need your money for? I'm cool living in a homeless shelter. That tells you what kind of person I am. So anything you got doesn't even phase me. I don't need your brand new car. Don't need fancy cars. I don't wear fancy clothes. I dress up nicely if I need to, but I'm comfortable. I'm cool in my skin. So it's not easy to come along and just impress me and, you know, make me fall in love with you because you got, I don't care what you got. That's not what I want. I've had all of those things and everything you got, I can obtain on my own. You know what I want? I want somebody who's going to reciprocate the same kind of love and devotion that I give him. And none of those people in my past that I love, thank God they didn't love me back. Thank God they did not love me back. Because I still would have had a hook in my cheek. I got loose. <laughs> got away. That's that big kahuna. You know, <laughs> that's that big fish. But, um, you know, like I said, at the end of the day, if a person doesn't give you something to reciprocate... You're just giving them charity. That's your love charity. You might as well give that to the bum down the street. You can sow that same energy into a complete stranger and feel the same satisfaction. You know, a stranger would probably reciprocate better than some people that are in relationships. So if you're in that position where you have had people that you look back and go, man, I wonder, wonder, wonder. Don't. Don't regret it. 
don't have bad feelings, second thoughts about that man for real. Be thankful that a lot of the people you love didn't love you back or else you might be with a hook in your mouth still. You got away. And then now you're free to swim. <laughs> Backstroke if you want to, you know. I'm just thankful. And that was a thought that crossed my mind. Like I said, it's a snowy day, so I'm dropping videos just to, you know, kind of hopefully you guys can siph siphon through them and, and, you know, get these messages. Um, and if I get to rambling, it's only because I'm bored and it's snowing outside. And at some point, I may take this camera outside and just let y'all, you know, chill out in the cold with me for a minute, you know. Um, but anyhow, I just wanted to drop that message and, and, and give give y'all something to think about. You know, actually give you something to shout about. If you have anything, if you ain't got nothing to shout about this morning, <coughs> shout about that. Shout about that. Give God his praise and glory. Thank you, Lord, them who fall in love with me. Thank God they didn't love me enough to hold on to me. You know what I mean? Thank God they didn't love me enough to keep me entangled in that mess. Set me free. Let me do me and do what's best for me. Let me do what God has for me. Amen. So anyhow, I'm going to get out of here and I'll probably be back. You know, I'll be back. Um, maybe we'll go outside and play in the snow for a little while. I don't know. It looks like it's pretty cold out there. So we'll see. Anyhow, I love y'all. I'll talk to you later. Bye.